Before I insert the lens, I might put my thumb over the upper eyelid. If it flutters a lot or if the patient is nervous, I'm going to leave my thumb on there for a while, sort of like successive approximation. I want the nervousness to go away, and if you just insert the lens and the patient is nervous, you're not going to have a good result, you're not going to get good cooperation. So I'm going to sense whether the patient is, is going to cooperate readily, and in this case there is no fluttering, so I feel, I feel good about that. Note that the tubing itself is facing the ear, it's always facing temporally. On the left side, it's going to face the left ear, and on the right side, the right ear. One thing that I'm going to bear in mind here, I want to keep this hard plastic shell off the cornea. It's very easy to remove cells or microtome the cornea such that it's going to be very irritating or it would take a while to heal, especially in the diabetic patient. Okay. I want you to look down at your feet, look way, way down. Okay. Open both eyes, look up, top of your head. Okay, great. And note here that my hand is resting on the forehead. I'm actually taking a lot of the force, the downward force or the weight of that probe off the eye to make it as easy as possible for the patient. And also it would be instructive for you, the technician or the physician doing this test, to have this done to you at least once to see what it's like from the patient's point of view. I'm going to move the Kleenex over here in case any water dribbles out. I'm going to slowly squeeze water. Hit the foot switch. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it just took several seconds to acquire all 10 readings. And in the RXP system itself, it's looking for variation or standard deviations within a certain criteria. It just took a second or two, and it's easy to get on axis. And that's the advantage of the fixed immersion shell. Okay, now to remove it, I'm going to have the patient look up, look way up to the top of your head. I'm going to grab the lower lid. I'm going to pull down gently, and then rotate the shell out. Okay, close your eyes for a second. I'm going to mop up any residual water, and that's the end of the examination.